All right, we're in cell setup here. We're going to start a new uh, environment. We are doing a new robot with an ER4 again. Hit OK. Um, and we're going to drop that robot with no slide base right in the middle. General table. Keep the size and color the same. That's fine. Drop that right in the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and tilt this a little bit. Right click and zoom in. Let's uh, show our work envelope. Oh, right click. Show envelope. Drag object, get that thing kind of centered on there as best you can. And then let's drop our material. Cube, keep it the same size. Drop it right there. Right click. Or sorry, double click. Position 400, 0. Alright. Close that. Save. We're going to call this 312B. I'm, this is my second time doing it, so I have two letters there, but you'll just do one. Hit save. Remember, hit the blue. Save button again, and you're done with that. Let's get over to RoboCell, File, New Project. We are going to then File, Import 3D Model. There's my first one. Once that comes in, go ahead and go to Window, Simulation, and Teach. That gets all of our windows in the right place. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit, but I like the way that looks right there, so I'm going to keep it. Um, I'm going to immediately save camera position and save user screen. Um, for this next one, we need to start programming again where we want things to be. Um, instead of just Kind of pushing the robot around we're going to go ahead and give it some exact coordinates now uh, first thing i want to do when i'm here uh, in this case we are in pro now which is fine um, and i'd like to start programming where it's going to be we're going to start off with uh, open the gripper this is position 99 it's our home position. Go ahead and write that down. And we are going to record position. All right, that gives us our home. Now, the next thing we're going to do that's new here, we're going to hit expand and uh, raise that up so it's bigger. It gives us some new places to go. The first place we're going to go, which will be number one position, our numbers here are 400, which you'll remember from setting up your original cube. 400, 0, 17.5. Negative 90, 0, then you hit teach. And then we hit go to select the position. It just so happens that that's exactly where the red block is, uh, right above it. So we'll set it there. Good. All right, next position we want to do is going to be 1, 1. Position is still 400. Zero on the Y, and the Z, we're going to lift this thing straight up 100 millimeters. Now, right now, these grippers, if you zoomed in, are 17.5 millimeters off the table. We're going to lift them up to 100. Now, we don't need to go ahead and grip the block here. We're just assigning positions. 100, negative 90, zero. Teach, move, straight up. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do position 1, 2. In this case, we're moving uh, the object closer to the base of the robot. So we're moving down the x direction to 300. Y still is 0. Z is still 100. Negative 90, 0. Teach. Move. Straight in. All right. The last one is number 2. So we set it down. Number 2 is 300, 0. And this should be 17.5. To drop it back to the table. Negative 90. Teach. Move. Sets it down. So now we've recorded all the places the robot needs to go. Once that's done, we can go ahead and 
reset our work cell and begin to write our program over here. First thing we want to do once we've reset is we want to open Gripper. All right. Next thing we want to do is go to position. In this case, it's position number uh, position number one, and we can go ahead and go there. Uh, let's try let's try some different. Let's go to position eleven. And that gets us right above, and we'll make that a fast move, like a rapid move from our CNC days. Hit OK. Then we're going to go to our next position of 1, and we're going to go at a speed of 5. Hit OK. After we're at 1, we are going to uh, close the gripper. Oops, I hit the wrong one. Hit Delete. We're going to close the gripper. Once it's closed, we're going to go to the next position, which is back directly up to 1 1. And we'll move at a regular speed. Then we're going to go from 11 to 12. Go to position 12. And maybe we'll make that a rapid too, because we know there's nothing in the way and we're not touching the ground. Now we're at 1 2. Now we're going to drop it down to 2. And we'll go. Back to speed of five. We're going to open the gripper to drop it, and then we're going to go to position home. And we'll go wrap it to home. Hit OK. All right. Let's see how that worked. <clears throat> first thing you do is come up here, click to the first item, reset just in case. Second run cycle. Gripper opens, drops down to the block, above the block, then to the block, picks it up, straight move back, down, sets it down, opens up, goes back home. Car. Next thing you'll need to do is come over here to show robot path, reset, run single, oops, back to the top, reset, run single cycle. Recording your path, slows down, picks it up, comes back, over, down, lets it go, comes home. Similar to 312A, except this time instead of driving the robot with the XY coordinates, we're actually typing in direct coordinates. Alright, the next thing we do is hit print screen on my keyboard, come to a Word document, 3.1.2B. Install a couple enters, then come back up so I can work on both sides of my drawing. Paste that in there. You've got what you need to turn in. Paste your engineer's notebook. This will go right above your actual handwritten notes in your engineer's notebook. You've got to have handwritten notes to match your cutout. Ready?